and welcome to the fourth episode of Sunnyside Dev Stream. Hopefully, I have enough to show you uh, of the game. Um, we've been doing a lot uh, over the past two, three weeks, and uh, yes, we had to cancel last week's uh, stream, and we had to go back to the bi-weekly uh, stream just so we can we have enough to show you guys because. You know, every week uh, we just we wanted to do a dev stream and then have a just a chill, you know, working on the game live. But um, I don't know. Maybe we do that in the future. But uh, currently, I don't think the game is there yet. There's a lot of boring stuff, uh, and I don't want to stream the boring stuff. Right. So I have a bunch of stuff that I've written down to talk about today. First of all, let me just open my notes. There we go. First of all, thank you so much for doing the surveys. It's um. Uh, we had about 86% of you, or 88 by now, uh, percent of you that have done the surveys. Thank you so much again for getting add-ons or up upping your pledge. We managed to raise quite some money, uh, even in the backer kit, which is always great for the development. Uh, because, you know, we do need more money for the development, and that's why we're going for the publisher. Um, more info on that in a bit. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for doing the surveys. Thank you so much for doing additional stuff. Um, if you want to support the development further, you know, there's a coffee link right under me. And uh, yeah, yeah, right. And uh, as I mentioned, publisher, we're getting ourselves a publisher. We actually have a few publishers that are interested in our game, but uh, we are actively talking to one at the moment and they are very thrilled about the game. Uh, yeah, and uh, we're talking to one of them actively, and um, I'm not going to reveal who they are because, you know, if, if, if they don't decide to actually go with us. Uh, but I can give you the detail about what we're doing at the moment, roadmap-wise. So, the publisher obviously wants to play the game, so they want a playable demo of the game. And since we got funded, we decided to nuke a lot of our code, just completely remove them, because they were either haven't been done well, or they were some, somehow redundant. Let me just switch to this by the way. There we go. Uh, they were redundant and um, they weren't good enough for a huge game, right? Because after we got the Kickstarter stuff, uh, the scope of the project expanded to what I wanted to be. And so we've been removing a lot of the code. So even if we had a playable demo, I don't know, like three months ago, we don't anymore because we're reworking a lot of the systems. So this publisher wants us to give them a playable demo by uh, sometime in April. So that's what we're going for now. In the next few weeks, uh, leading to mid-April, we are going to be working on the core gameplay uh, of Sunnyside to getting everything down uh, so that, you know, there is a fun, cohesive game out there for them to play. Uh, I've teased this before. I don't think I've shown it to you guys properly yet, but we have a female, male, a female, feminine type body main character. That was kind of hard to say. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I can show you guys her in her full glory. So, uh, yeah, this is her model. I do like her, uh, the way she's designed a little bit more than the male, uh, or the masculine type body. And, uh, yeah, this, um, she doesn't look too great, just looking like this, but, uh, I'll show you guys with clothes on. And, uh, yeah, if we jump over here, we have her over here. And um, her, basically we're going to have a masculine body and a feminine body as mentioned before, but her face, we're going to have a few different face types that you can choose for her. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and this is the default clothes. As I've said before, again, Sunnyside is, a, is, a, is an RPG. So, you know, you can find clothes in the map to put on your character, you can change the hairstyle or whatever. And uh, speaking of, if I just jump into the game actually, this is her in the game. Animations are still not very optimal, and I'm gonna talk about that after I go over this again. Uh, but just to show you guys in game, this is what she looks like. Quite a nice looking uh, main character, if I say so myself. I think Alan's done a good job. And uh, yeah. And she does have hair physics. It's work in progress, so it looks a little bit crazy. So I don't know how well it comes off in the stream, but. You know, when I'm running, there's some nice flowy hair going on. But yeah, we're working to make it look a little bit better. It, it looks a little bit like dreads at the moment because they're not enough hair strings. Uh, one thing I really love, I, I would like to applaud 
Coral Island for doing this. Uh, they had a character with stretch marks. Really good idea, actually. Um, uh, and we want to kind of go in the same direction. Yes, inclusive body types, exactly. That's uh, And that's another reason I really want the main character to have different body types. I really love to do it. I just it, the only thing stopping me is the development time, guys. Another thing, while we on the on the uh, topic of physics, is that um, we decided to completely change all of the crops because um, 69 o'clock. Damn, I didn't even notice. <laughs> but uh, if I show you guys the um, old type of crops that we had in the game and the new model for crops. Uh, we are completely changing all of them. We're revamping them because they were bit, they were basically remnants of when Sunnyside was going to be a mobile game. So they were going to get changed eventually, and now we're finally doing it because we're working on that core gameplay, as I mentioned before. And uh, Piper Bird, definitely, we're definitely going in the same direction that Coral Island's taken, and that's been um, that's been in our uh, minds ever since we started working on the characters. Um, just very diverse characters that feel real, you know? Okay, so if you guys uh, look at this, this is a turnip. Uh, yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, this is an old one. This is an old model. It looks terrible. I don't like it. It looks cool and polygonal, but it doesn't really fit Sunnyside anymore. And we are going for a design like this now. It's still, you know, anime. It's still not super realistic. Uh, but... It, I think it fits the style of the game a lot more and there's something more important about this model than all of that and that is the fact that this model has skeleton and that sounds a little bit weird right a turnip having skeletons but why <laughs> it's because now we can move oh god what did I do <laughs> let's not do that uh, we can move individual uh, stems of this if we want to so it's now um, physically activated basically so if I simulate physics you can see that I can uh, I can move it around and it actually physically moves around and we did all of that just so when you walk through your farm you when you go past your plants it physically interacts with your body and it's it's the same for the turnips and it's the same for this this is like uh, the withered plant, like if you don't water your plant and it, and it withers, it just, just changes to this. And uh, yeah, I think it's a nice addition. It's a tiny little thing, but it does really make the world feel a lot more alive. Yeah, <laughs> thank you Tyler. Turnips with bones, yes they are, they do have bones. And I'm actually going to make a tutorial on this, on exactly how to do this in Unreal Engine. Um, I know there are some Unreal developers over here, so if you're looking to add something like this to your game, I'm going to make a proper tutorial from start to finish on how to do something like this in Blender, put it in Unreal, and make it work. Because there are no good tutorials out there, and I really want people to be able to add this to their own game. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> thank you, thank you guys. And uh, yeah, what else do we have? That was actually one of the smaller things I wanted to talk about. So that's uh, female MC. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about our female character is that we have uh, two other hairstyles for her. Um, one thing I should mention is that the hairstyles are not specific to the body type. You can have any hairstyle. Sorry, microphone. You can have any hairstyle on your character if you want. So, for example, if I drag this hair. Yeah, it just goes on it. And she even looks a bit like Tracer from Overwatch, I think. Yeah. And, uh, but we have two hairstyles that are s designed specifically for her. And you already saw this one, which had physics and stuff. There is also this one, which is, uh, as I mentioned before, it looks a little bit like Max from Life is Strange. And also this one, Space Buns, which uh, I think is very cute. I'm a big fan of Space Buns. And I didn't know they're called Space Buns until very recently. So quite a cute name for her stuff. Uh, shading is something else that we completely changed in the game. And if I go back to our pretty map, our actual game map, um, Sunnyside was using something called forward shading. And again, that was a remnant of back when Sunnyside was a mobile game. Let's change the time. It's now uh, around 6 in the afternoon. Uh, let's go at 9 in the morning. And 
we change the forward shading to something called deferred shading. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. But deferred shading allows us to have ambient occlusion, real-time reflections, all of that without even using ray tracing. <clears throat> so you should, your game should look like this if you have a 1060, 1070. And uh, if I change the weather, for example, to light rain, and jump into the game, you can see that these puddles of rain is actually reflecting the world. And another cool feature, uh, little detail, is that if you look at the rain, it's, it accumulates over time. If I quickly go to our debug camera and zoom in on this from an angle you can see. Yeah, there you go. And yeah, it slowly accumulates over time. And yeah, realistically. Oh, thank you so much, Couch Mobile, with, uh, for the Prime. Thanks so much for subbing. <laughs> and uh, other than accumulating, if you look at walls and stuff, you can see that the rain is dripping down it. If I get really close, you can see there, uh, just just the rain's dripping down basically. And uh, yeah, I think this looks a million times better. And I'm so glad I realized this quite early in the project because if we didn't realize this, we would have to redesign everything. Uh, but yeah, I think I think it looks pretty cool. We also have snow. It's not fully done. But if I just change this to snow, you can see that it's kind of working, right? And the reason I'm saying it's not fully done is that if we go to, for example, this car, you can see that there's snow on top of it, but there's not actually physical snow, so there's no physical volume to it. And that's something I want to add. I keep hitting the microphone, sorry, microphone. And also, if you remember, we had uh, footsteps in the snow before, and it's not been added to this texture. So that's another thing that we're going to be working on when we go back to the weather system. So, cat, and I'm sure Destiny is already perked up for me to talk about cat. Yes, uh, I'm ready to show you guys all of her clothes except for the casual, which if you're in Discord, you know that today we had a voting, a community poll on what her casual clothes should look like. But uh, we have the concept art for all of Catherine's clothes, um, not including uh, be casual so we have got ourselves a new concept artist and she joined the project last week uh, her name is Kyori uh, uh, she's on discord now and she started working on Catherine and I'm really excited to show you guys all of it let's go so this is Catherine's winter attire and it was just the first one I opened and this is what you can expect to see her wearing during winter. Colors might change, color, colors might vary depending on the day randomly. And that's something we talked about in Discord before, just to add some variation to the characters. We can have different colors. But yeah, this is her winter attire. And this is just the same without the earmuffs and the scarf. And yeah, you can see her hair is all flowing nice in the back. So this is her uh, swimsuit. During the summer festival, uh, we are going to have a sw swimming competition. And this is what she's going to be wearing during that event. Uh, we might have more custom clothes for different events. Uh, of course, that means more development time, but we'll do it if we need to. So if there's a, I don't know, if there's a very cool event happening and she needs to have a very specific clothes, for example, Halloween, maybe need, she needs to have a scary looking costume, we would work on it. And uh, yeah, this is her swimsuit. And this is her summer attire. And um, one thing I should mention is that she's wearing um, kind of school uniforms, right? But she's going to college, right? So she is uh, 18, 19 years old. She is going to college. She's studying. We're actually not 100% sure right now, but she's going to a college that is nearby. It's not in Sunnyside, so every day she goes to school and comes back. And you'll be able to see her in the afternoon in town. And yeah, this is a summer attire. There we go. And spring, you know, it's, it's quite close to summer, but uh, she just has a really nice blazer on. And yep, same without the back. And autumn. 
Uh, the only difference in Autumn is that, well, you know, the whole blazer is different, but she's also wearing a cardigan under the blazer, which I think is quite fitting for Autumn. I always uh, imagine Autumn with uh, cardigans. And I think that's the end of it. Yep, that's all of uh, Kat's concept art. I hope you guys uh, like her. I hope you guys like the design. Uh, I've already seen some of your reactions in Discord. And that has been really positive. And yeah. <laughs> and uh, she's working on the casual attire for Cat. But when that's done with, uh, we're going to be jumping on a male um, NPC. And we're not 100% sure who yet. Could be Sebastian or could be Lucy's dad. So, um, another small thing I wanted to show you guys is the menu animations. I've already posted about this on Discord. But, um, we are trying to animate as many things as possible in the game and, uh, yeah, inventory being one of them. Uh, this used to look fine, but on the left side you can see we have this whole black outline for her. And this is because we changed from forward shading to deferred. And this is what we're working on to fix. But yeah, we're trying to animate as many things as possible. There's another thing is that, uh... There's a tiny bit of an animation when you switch between maps. Obviously, Sunnyside is going to be one single big map, so you don't really see the loading screen as much. But, um, like, if I want to go to the different map, there's, there's a few little tiny animations to go through. And, uh, yeah, this is the start of our journey to animate as many things as possible, because, you know, if you want to make a game that is inspired by Persona, you can't just make it without having really flashy, stylish animations. That's, a, that's another tiny thing that I wanted to talk about. And um, the other subject is the town area. So you guys have already seen this tiny, tiny bit of the slice of the map, basically. And it might give the impression that the town of Sunnyside is a little bit modern, you know, roads and stuff. But that's really not the case, because if I bring up our... This is just our outline, right? And I'm gonna remove the trees so that we have, you can see things a little bit better. So this is kind of what we're going for. There's going to be, yes, a road up here. And that is one of the buildings. There's a few more buildings back there. There's going to be a shrine there. And that's going to be an Inari shrine. And uh, again, inspired by Persona 4 and just the Japanese culture that I love. And, um, yes, so more houses down there, uh, the road continues that way, there's going to be like a little parking area over there, more buildings, and the road's going to kind of go down there and go that way. Uh, but there's going to be kind of an intersection over here, with the roads continuing that way as well. Uh, all of the roads will eventually end up uh, going into a highway that goes to the nearby city, uh, where cats colleges for example and where you can also travel to to go to special dates with people there's a cinema there for example and uh, yeah uh, this lower area of the map is more of a um, there's no roads down here so there's like a this is like a uh, fountain would you call it and more buildings down here more shops more residential areas and there's a basically a river that goes through the town and a few bridges. As you can see, I already put the hole where the river is supposed to go. And uh, yeah, this is kind of an overlook on how the town's gonna look like. It's not gonna be fully urban. There's going to be areas that are just, you know, for example here, it looks really urban, but what's actually going to happen is that it's just gonna be grass, 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 and then there's just like two stray houses down here with like a, uh, nice little fishing area around here that you can fish in the river and on the side here we're going to have a big wall like a like a drain sort of wall yeah it's going to be a mix of urban and a mix of kind of like an old town that is uh, still has really old buildings in it i guess uh what i'm trying to say is that the uh, map of Sunnyside is going to have some older buildings which are the reminiscence of the people who've been living in Sunnyside for a while and some newer buildings of people moving in and trying to you know um, have a house there basically so this is one of the newer buildings 
they're going to be buildings that are really old looking really old japanese looking houses and the shrine is of course going to look very old and very japanese uh retro camera so it's going to be a pretty rustic town with a modern flash yes basically yeah quite rust rustic is probably the best word for it um again i think just um two countries that are generally like this weirdly uh in my opinion is japan and the uk because you can see really old looking buildings right next to you know an apartment that's just been built last year and this preservation of the past is something I really love about both UK and Japan. And yeah, like if you if you walk through a town like Colchester is the town that we live in, uh, if you walk through it, you sometimes feel like you're in the middle of Assassin's Creed. But then sometimes it's just a modern town. So I kind of want to have that inside the side as well. Thank you, Memento. Yeah, that's exactly why we're going with that uh, decision. So Nyx asks, which NPC are you going to develop a bit next, or is it at least on your mind? So the NPCs that are on my mind currently are Sebastian, um, Lucy, Lucy's dad, and um, uh, yeah, that's basically the three NPCs that I'm really thinking of currently. Uh, we have a, an unnamed NPC, which lives in a sort of a mansion looking building nearby in Sunnyside. Uh, more info on her later. I think we decided to name her either Annabelle or uh, Elizabeth one of the two and it's um, It's kind of paying homage to old Harvest Moon games You know how there's always a mansion in Harvest Moon and there's a rich girl that lives there and Yeah, that's why I'm going with that one. Oh, yeah, Germany Belgium Europe in general. Yes, thank you exactly Europe in general is very much like that I think United States is the country that um, just goes with the modernization. I'm not sure. I don't want to bring any controversies, but Europe in general is very much like that. Yeah. Are we going to have a bicycle or some kind of vehicle to go around the map faster? Bicycle, definitely, definitely. And we are actually going to make the bicycle before the horses. Uh, we're going to let you ride a horse, but bicycle definitely. As you can see, these bicycles over here, these are the prop versions. So these are just decorations. But we're actually going to use these models to actually let you ride them. So these bicycles are going to be very much rideable. You can see it in the corner here, actually. There we go. <laughs> yes. And also bicycles have different tiers to them. So some have bigger storages in front, some go faster. Yes. Love bicycles. Definitely a big part of the game. Will there be more male characters in the near future? Yeah, definitely. Um, Sebastian would be the star. Lucy's dad would be Gabriel. His name is Gabriel. I don't know why I keep saying Lucy's dad. Uh, there's going to be a um, librarian or the museum guy. Uh, there's a researcher guy that lives in Sunnyside. Yeah, there's going to be a, a bunch of male characters. Don't worry. Will there be games within the game, like uh, arcade games or can you buy retro consoles? Yes. So I really want to add a... Um, basically, the bar in the game is going to have some cabinets in it. That you can uh, play arcade games on it. Um, that one I can promise for release. But in the future, I really would like to add some consoles that you can buy yourself and, and uh, play at home. Yeah, so uh, as FemChef... Um, Reminds me, uh, we're going to have a um, one of the buildings in the game, uh, or one of the areas in the game is going to be a mill that you can take your products there, you can take your crops there, um, usually just wheat, rice, or things like that, and you can take it to the mill and they will mill it for you and give it to you for a price, and then you can use that milled product either to sell it for higher money, higher amount of money, or use it in cooking. Or you can build a mill yourself and just not do that. But this milling um, area in the game is going to feature a character or two, probably. And uh, yeah, we um, FemChef is helping us with uh, cooking recipes in the game. Yeah, she's in the chat right now. And uh, she's also helping us with the crops and stuff using her uh, food knowledge. So thank you to her. But yeah, uh, we decided to ma make a mill in the game and make a character for it and add that to the game. So let me give you guys a little bit of a summary of what we're going to be doing after this. 
Um, Sunnyside is at a very good place, uh, thankfully, touch wood. And uh, in the next few weeks, as I mentioned, with our publisher interests, uh, what we're going to do is working on the core gameplay mechanics. So um, animations and stuff like that might not get updated for some time, just because we need to um, get the core gameplay down. Make it fun, make it interesting, make it, um, make it actually feel like a game. A, a core gameplay loop that you play and it's fun and it's engaging. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing for the next few weeks. And the updates you're going to get in the next dev streams are probably going to be very much um, gameplay oriented. Which I'm excited to show you guys. Uh, I can't stop myself from working on the visual stuff. So don't worry, it's going to be a plenty of nice looking screenshots and stuff. And yeah, that's everything. Thank you guys so much for coming. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on Discord. And I will see you all in also the next dev stream. Yeah. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye bye. Oh,